Hello everybody, this is Mr. Uberduck and welcome to a new Redstone series. This is going to be a request series. So basically you post a comment or send me a message or whatever and I will look at it, I'll think, oh yeah, that would be cool to do and I'll see if I can get it done. So I actually had this idea, someone who I know in real life, he suggested he wants something made for me. So, you know, I thought, oh, yeah, why not? I could make a series out of this. Because it helps me with the inspiration problem which a lot of redstoners face. So that is what we're going to have today. So this is episode 1. And today it is an infinitely vertically stack stackable. That's a mouthful. Infinitely vertically stackable triple piston extender. Horizontal triple piston extender that is. So let's just flick this lever. You can see it extends nice and quickly. And it also retracts very quickly. As you can see, now this thing is pretty quick and pretty simple. Now, in order to get it this size, I had to basically make it too tall where all the inputs were with repeaters. So I managed to do that, and then I could simply stack all the layers on top of each other and get a finished design. Apart from this tower up here, this slab tower, that's basically just to get the final pulse. So that's all that's for. So, a quick bit of explanation if I just get rid of this torch and that for the moment you can see first bit this is just extension and it does that so it's very simple it gets it all done in such a tiny amount of space that's nice then this 40 repeater that also pulls this piston back as well so that's great and then because we get an extra bit of delay here we can simply send another two tick and power this and it all works out very nicely the reason we can't just send more delay into this one is because it has to turn off once already. So we can only use inputs that have to turn off just the once. So this final pulse, the way I did it, was put a torch down here. Um, and a solid block, it would simply get pulled over this torch. And when the solid block goes over, power goes up here. But then the block quickly gets retracted. So as soon as it's on, it comes off. And that creates a quick pulse, which it removes the need for a pulse generator and this is very helpful it does make it slightly larger but you know what are you gonna do so I guess as this is a request it'd be pretty useless if I didn't show you how to build it so it's pretty simple and I'll get right into it now so to start, start off with you're gonna need a 5 by 7 area and then in the middle of this area and one block from the end place your three pistons so you have it looking like this then place your block on front and you're ready to go I'm actually going to have to raise this, oh no, well, never mind. So the first thing you're going to do is basically just replace all these with solid blocks like that. And then this is your extension, so one tick repeater here, two tick repeater there, and a dust along there. Just join this all up, put dust along the whole of this row. And then you two four tick repeaters here, actually you just don't do that there. One four tick repeater there, block there. Now we can try this out, extension, and quite a bit of the retraction done already. So you can see how cool this design is. Now for this bit, just do this, dust, two tick, and there you go. So now if we flick the lever, we should see an extra movement in there already. And that is really all there is to it. I just had to add in that final movement. So break a block down here, place a torch there by the end, and then you just need to build a slab tower up. Now it always amazes me when I see people building these. Because they do some weird thing like they place all this. And no, don't do that. All you have to do. So, right. Block. Place a block on top of the slab. And a slab there. That is all you have to do to build a quick and efficient slab staircase. Then break out those blocks when you're done fill it in with redstone simple as that now it's not actually necessary for the bottom but what you need to do not that you need three one tick repeaters so what am i doing here <laughs> one second uh, get my repeaters back so you need one two and three dust there and that should all work nicely so to stack this up 
All you have to do is place blocks on top and you can hold shift and fly while doing this if you're uncreative by the way. Very simple, if you're in survival you can still hold shift and place blocks on top of right clickable objects. Do this, so remember you need four tick there, four tick there and four tick there, one tick here, two tick there. Now just place your pistons, point, da da da, da da da, and I'm actually going to for the sake of this do that I think that's what it should be anyway so just replace that um, and then it's very easy just copy basically what you've got on the bottom and then this this pulse you just have to copy it over now because I've messed this up a bit it's gonna be a bit weird but something along these lines and that should be stackable, so... Ah, yes, there's my problem. Place your lever there. Now, one problem with this design is the input, as you can see. If we start stacking this up to what we have here, we need to introduce a slab tower to actually get the input to all of these different things because they're not interconnected. Now, this is a bit of a problem because what you actually need is a at least a signal strength of eight into this dust there or seven or eight seven or eight or one of those two um, but what that will do is it will give just enough signal to get to the end here because if we don't have enough it won't work it won't extend properly and that's not what we want so if you are extending this to more than about four I recommend just place repeaters pointing into all of all of the ones you have and then a nice simple slab tower uh, like that and then just copy that up and you can place your input at the bottom and the whole thing should work nicely the one problem you do run into is when your slabs run out of power then you can simply repeater and carry this on however far you want like that and you can just keep on going upwards. The sky is the limit, remember? Actually, 256 is the limit. But I guess I've rambled on enough for this video. So, as I said, if you do have any requests, feel free just to leave a comment. This is the first one. If you do see this guy who did actually request this, high five. Thanks for the series idea. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.